Hello there guys and welcome, it is Niran here and today it is time for episode number 5 of Players to Watch Out For in FIFA 16 Career Mode. Now this is of course the series where I bring you 10 players who look as if they're going to be absolute gods on the next FIFA being FIFA 16 based on their performances in real life, i.e. goals, assists, maybe even just appearances if they're a young enough player, as well as their potential on FIFA 15 as well, because of course if they're a god on FIFA 15 they're probably going to be pretty good on FIFA 16. Now if we could smash 50 likes on this episode of the series that would be massively appreciated and of course yet again you will see the next episode next Wednesday but I think it's time to get into the first player of this episode and today it is Hakim Zayek the FC Twente CAM or centre attacking mid for long I suppose but as you can see some pretty good stats when it comes to passing uh, 86 vision there good agility as well as pretty good sprint speed and acceleration you know decent for a midfielder uh, good short passing long passing free kick accuracy and ball control as well as 83 shot power I don't know if I said that already but 86 curve he's 21 years of age from uh, FC Twente playing in the Eredivisie he's Dutch three star weak foot three star skill with a high attacking work rate and with 17 goals and 17 assists in 40 appearances for Twente last season he should be a little bit better hopefully than that 74 stat and therefore have a very very good potential indeed next up there we've got Jordan Ibe the young left winger from Liverpool 70 stat this guy with exceptional sprint speed acceleration agility and balance Balance, good ball control and dribbling some of the yellow stats here there and everywhere too but finally this guy getting an upgrade to 70 stat he's deserved it for about two years now and finally he's got it 18 years of age from England medium attacking and defensive work rate uh, right footed four star weak foot three star skill moves Again, a fairly decent player uh, in terms of you know his performances in real life. Starting to come of age a little bit in that Liverpool team. Obviously, I'm a Liverpool supporter, so I know him pretty well. But um, yeah, he looks as if he'll be a bit. He'll have a big part to play this season for Liverpool. But next up, we've got a man who had a big part to play for Leon last season, and that is Alexander Lacazette. Somehow this guy hasn't changed team, but as you can see, 88 sprint speed and acceleration, the main sort of the main attraction there. 82 penalties, 81 volleys, good shot power, finishing, dribbling, ball control, attack position balance and agility all dark green 23 years of age playing for Lyon in Ligue 1 can play as a striker or a right wing from France right winger sorry from France four star weak foot four star skill moves high attacking work rate and having scored 31 goals in 40 appearances last season surely he's got to be at least 84 stat next season on FIFA 16 but now it's time to get into another French player or French based player this is Rafael Guerrero of or Guerrero I'm not entirely sure how you pronounce it but from FC Lorient 74 stat left mid now this guy used to be a left back that's why I thought he had a very good season he can play as a left back as well he's from Portugal three star week for three star skill moves high defensive work rate so he's probably more useful as a left back with really good sprint speed acceleration agility and balance this guy actually got I think seven assists last season in Ligue 1 or seven goals and five assists something like that and I think he was mainly played as a left back so that's pretty good for Rafael Guerrero hopefully he should improve on his 74 start of this season and being so young he should have a good he should have a good potential anyway even if he stays at 74 stat but now we've got another goalkeeper only the second in this entire series and it's another Bundesliga player this time it's Timo Horn of FC Cologne. As you can see, all light green goalkeeping stats and says only 21 and 76 stats. His potential should, I thought, be at least 84 something or something in that sort of realm decent reactions as well from Germany again playing for Cologne who I think have just been promoted to the first Bundesliga but were in the second division of German football last season correct me if I'm wrong not entirely sure but he should be in the main Bundesliga for next season if you're wanting to sign him next up we've got Aaron Leia Iseka who plays for Anderlecht in the Belgian Pro League now this guy's got good acceleration as well as sprint speed 81 acceleration 80 sprint speed good agility and jumping as well as decent finishing as well as ball control and dribbling this guy is actually the brother of the Marseille forward Michi Batshoi. They kind of look alike. He's 16 years of age, is Aaron Leia Iseka, and 64 stat. His growth is about 18, so he should get around to 84, no, sorry, 82 stat on this game. He could be even better next year, having scored nine goals in two uh, in 20 games, sorry, for Anderlecht this season. But again, Michi Batshoi's brothers. It's strange how it runs in the family. Batshoi, obviously a fantastic striker. If Iseka is anything like that on FIFA 16, then we're in for a treat. Next up, though, it's a French base player. This is Quarantine Jean of Estac Troy. Now, I don't know if this guy still plays for. Estac Troy. I'm guessing it's Estac. It might be E S T A C. I'm not entirely sure. But he's got good acceleration, agility, sprint speed, and balance as well as decent attack position. He's 66 stat, 18 years of age, can play as a striker, left mid or right mid, with high attacking work rate, three star weak foot, two star skill moves. He's from France, playing in Ligue 2, so the second division of French football. 66 stat, therefore sort of 80 odd potential, so a fairly cheap option. Uh, but I think he did pretty well in real life this season. 
He got 10 goals in 29 games for the French side, so hopefully he should be a little bit better on FIFA 16. But next up, we've got Matteo Darmian. Now, this guy, you probably know. If you're a Manchester United fan, you certainly know, because he's playing for Torino on this game, but he doesn't play for Torino any longer. He's just signed for Manchester United, which means he won't be available in the first transfer window. With good acceleration, stamina, and aggression, as well as high attacking and defensive work rate, he has the engine speciality. 74 stack and plays left mid or a right mid. Uh, there you go, the engine speciality, just to confirm. So he should be a pretty good player to use for Manchester United. He's 24, so his potential shouldn't be that great, realistically, uh, because of his stat now and his age. But you never know. He might get a pretty decent upgrade on FIFA 16. But next up, though, finally, we have got Levin Ersternali. For the eagle-eyed amongst you, at the start of FIFA, he was a CDM. Now he's a centre attacking mid. He can pl still play as a CDM, centre mid, or a cam. 18 years of age from Germany. He's also on loan at Werder Bremen at the moment, but should be going back to Bayer Leverkusen for the start of this season. Good acceleration, agility, ball control, dribbling, and short passing with four-star weak foot and three-star skill moves. And did I say finally for Levin Erz Tonali? I didn't mean to. This, this, is, this is definitely finally, I promise. We've got Patrick Roberts, the Fulham winger, another player who's just signed for him. Manchester team this time it is Manchester City he just signed for them for 12 million pounds so he should have a he should have a massive upgrade he might be someone to go for on loan if he's starting with a smaller BPL team not uh, 83 acceleration as well as a major uh, amazing agility and balance good sprint uh, sprint speed sorry and dribbling which leads to him having the acrobat speciality when it comes to his balance and his agility 65 stat at the moment complies a right mid playing for Fulham at the moment but of course has just signed for Manchester City so him and Erz Tonali very good very young players uh, from before him, and Aaron Leo Iseka as well, a very good young player, and even Corentin John as well. Those four perhaps slightly under the radar. Patrick Williams you could probably get on loan. Levin Tonali you could probably get on loan, given he spent this season on loan with Werder Bremen from Bayer Leverkusen. Iseka and Corentin John might be slightly under the radar, guys you can get for a cheap price, but might develop into absolute beasts, uh, like previous guys from previous episodes, like sort of Marcel Sabitz, uh, Brill Donald Dembona. But I'm going off on a rant, and that's not what I meant to do. If you did enjoy this episode, though of players to watch out for feel free to leave a like 50 likes yet again would be absolutely awesome comment about enjoying the video if you enjoyed it that much as well as leaving your suggestions i forgot to say that at the start of the episode but if you have any suggestions for the next episode or future episodes in general drop them in the comment section below subscribe if you are new around here as well but it has been a pleasure ranting at you guys today have a good day enjoy yourselves and goodbye